from Creations with Christina and today I thought I'd show you a tutorial on how to use the Sizzix um, 3D flower and it comes in two different pieces and they look like this um, there's a small one and a larger one and they come out really cool you could do two things you can actually layer these on top of each other I don't like doing it I just like leaving them simple so I could put a bead in them but here's one that I did layer the two the smaller and the larger one so just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how I do them um, I just mist them a little bit with water and I'm just using Georgia Pacific white cardstock and I like using white because then I, later on I can go back and glimmer mist them or ink them or do whatever I want with them so I'm just gonna spray let's do the smaller one first so I'm just spray that a little bit with some water and then come back with a piece of paper toweling and soak up as much as the water as I can. So you're also going to need your hot glue gun, so plug that in um, if you have this dye. And I'll put a couple of links um, to some places that you can order this if you're looking for it. I got mine off of eBay when it first came out. This is a quilling tool and it has a little slit right in the top. And what I do is I just, this is great for use, doing these flowers. Um, you just put your little piece of cards, the end of your cardstock, and you want to start from the outside, working your way in, into this, the slot of the quilling tool. And then what you do is, and this is why wetting it is good because you, it makes it a little easier to work with. So all I'm doing is just turning my quilling tool, and just keep going until you get to the center. Just like that okay and then pull your quilling tool out and then what I do is before there's this little round part which is the center and I'll show you on the bigger one this round part is your base of your flower so what I do is I just kind of hold it and then let it unwind a little bit so that it's not so so tight okay just like that and then I put a dot of hot glue right on the bottom and then this will hold my flower together. So it makes the cutest little rose. And later on when you glimmer mist it, you can kind of play with the petals and spread them out a little bit more. So that was the really small one. Let me show you how to, um, how to do the big one. It's the same thing, um, but just to show you the difference in the sizes. So we're gonna wet it. Pick up most of that moisture with your piece of paper toweling and then using the quilling tool again you can even use something a little thicker but the quilling tool does work just fine so maybe the end of a paintbrush if you don't have this and same thing just stick the end from the outside you're working from the outside into the center of the flower stick it in the uh, slot of the quilling tool and just start turning and you want to just keep those petals or the as it forms as close to the top as you can And wetting it definitely helps because it makes it more pliable and easier to to turn. So again, I'm getting to the center, and again, that'll be this piece right here will be where I glue. So just pull out the quilling tool, and this one does need a little bit more work because I did use the quilling tool, so it's a little tighter. Sometimes I just go from the top with my quilling tool, stick it into the center, and kind of just turn it a little bit to help break it up. Okay. And this one, like I said, does need a little bit of extra work because it is larger. And it probably would work better with a larger, um, like a paint, the end of a paint handle, paint brush handle. Okay. And then I usually take my paper uh, piercer and start to curl these out a little bit while I have it. Still a little wet. And that helps just form, to form it a little bit more. They're kind of, these are easy to do once you do a couple of them. So you just kind of have to practice and then you can even stick that right in the center or you could just put another piece or some more hot glue and use a bead or a pearl or something like that so 
Okay, that was just a quick tutorial on how to use the Sizzix 3D flower die. You can uh, head on over to my website to find a couple of links at different places you can order this. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.